So you want to start to write your Cypress tests and you want to do it fast. You want to do it painless. You want to show that you have something and that you can build on that. Well, I'm going to show you in this video a really quick way to generate tests and maybe to do even more. So this is a really simple test where we just visit the URL. Let's see how this one looks in Cyprus. So we have here the page which has opened and we want to continue and do some tests. Let's say we, I don't know, which one is fast and painless, uh, checkboxes, yeah. So let's say we want to click on the checkboxes and then perform some tasks on that page. I mean, normal way you would go about um, inspecting the page, um, writing all the code in Cypress that um, helps you interact with the elements, and then come back and write all that code in the IDE. Well, there is a way, there is a feature in Cypress which allows, or which takes that part from you and that's it automatically. And in order to have it present in your IDE, in your Cypress.json, you need to write experimental studio true. We need to set it to true. And once that is done, in your test, you will see something like this. I mean, one thing, you will see the command only after the test has run. And it's important that your test passes as well. So we have this uh, option to add comments to test. Let's click it. And now, as you can see, it's like a recorder here. We're in studio. And it says you can interact with the site to add test commands. So what do you want to do? We wanted to go on the checkboxes. And OK, let's check that this one is not checked. Let's check that this one is checked. Let's check this one and then check that it is checked. And let's save the commands. Now Cypress will run all our tests. And not only that, what Cypress would also do, Cypress will automatically in our IDE generate a code for us. And you can see how this might help you. I mean, you have in less than a minute, you have made a test with with us some click, which has assertions integrated. And last but definitely not least, it generated the code for you. You can still go about and structure the code in a way that you like or in a better way that suits your coding style or coding needs. But the base the skeleton is there and you can go even a bit further. I mean, um, you can add, so you have here one test, yeah? And you can even add another test. So this one we need to add again, let's add again the, the same URL. And in this one, let's do something different. Um, Let's do mm -hmm. basic authentication. Ah, this one, I don't think I know the password for that one, but at least let's see. Okay. We saved it, test name, and give a test name, um, basic test. Yeah, this one we cannot do, but uh, I think the importance was that you can see what Cypress Studio can do. And if we're on the topic of can do, so let's, let's say add command to test. There is a description here of the available command. So you can you can perform checks. So assertions are present, which is perfect. You can do clicks. Um, you can select 
elements you can type and you can check or uncheck so we will not be able to do really complex um, scenarios but as i mentioned before the important ones or the skeleton can be done here it's, it's a really good way to start with cypress automation i mean you can get started with um, a whole end-to-end -end scenario if it doesn't require to, um, complex uh, parts and have it working in a few minutes and to show you that the test was added let's just go here and you can see i have my basic test which was generated with um, the experimental studio so we have two tests now and the only code that i wrote was actually this one here everything else was generated for me pretty cool right um, as always thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one have a good one and bye bye